Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back to Borderlands. Take our vehicle this way. We've got two more graffiti things to do. We have a bugged mission to do in which we're going to bug something. And then we have the main gameplay. A little bit of popping there with the mine. That that goes to show that this engine can't handle the high uh, settings I have it, as far as videos, visual settings uh, that I have the game configured at. That's odd considering I didn't do anything special to get the settings where they are. Let's see. What are the eight? Let's just go back and look if I can. Audio, video. Yeah, you can't even see. Uh, anastropic filtering 16 times, 1080p dynamic shadows, bullet decals. Never figured out what those meant. Uh, foliage quality high, texture quality high, game detail high, ambient occlusion, bloom, depth of field is off. Maybe that's the thing I would need to have on. But. I don't want to do that. I got it to what I, I, I got the settings to the way I wanted them at the beginning, and it'd be rather silly to change them now. Hmm. So there's some graffiti somewhere here. It must be under. Must be on this wall. Moxie does it with a Jacobs. Hmm. These are dangerously, one might say, provocative uh, things. They're not not as cutesy as I thought they would be. This whole game. I mean, it it is a game that just revels in violence and shooting things. We've spent hours and hours, if not probably clo closing in on a hundred hours of of running around and shooting things and killing creatures and people. So I don't know. I don't really have anything to complain about, but it feels like this game in particular could easily have been just edited. A little, a little editing, a little resistance, a, a little more parents in the meetings. Uh, and I think I've already been up here. They, 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 they did make me go full circle. Uh, it's, it's, it feels like you could have made this a, a teen, teen plus game, particularly with the, with the cutesy animation style which was a last minute decision so I I get why that colored their perspective a uh, gearbox's perspective hmm oddly I'm not sure Randy Pitchford the CEO of gearbox would allow Borderlands 1 to be made these days uh, I, I'm not sure if he wouldn't have a little bit more of a conservative bent on it, uh, particularly the Mr. Shank stuff. Uh, I, don't, I just don't see him uh, being okay with that. But then I could be totally wrong, and sadly for for that question, Randy Pitchford is known to always say what it uh, say whatever a good advertiser would say being a former magician uh, he's very familiar with the concept of lying to people and he does it so Moxie likes it Skaggy style and Skaggs are dogs and again a little bit of a provocative thing let's see can I really think of uh, of a better th 
things to have done instead of just dirty graffiti like bathroom wall in a filthy bar graffiti I think you could you could say things that uh, that would Moxie wouldn't want said about her while being silly in the same way uh, like yeah you could say Moxie Moxie is uh, 23 years old so a really young age considering she's a mother and then she could be upset with that and then you would have nice retorts of comments from Moxie on the Echo saying uh, I'm actually only 20 which is completely unbelievable uh, because she's the mother of Scooter and Scooter's sister who we haven't even met and I don't think we do meet her in the first game. Uh, you could have one that says Moxie's makeup buys uses the cheap makeup or uh, so just plead to her vanity so that you could better characterize Moxie as an incredibly uh, uh, better characterize her, her that way. Moxie's first husband left her. Uh, just uh, totally not true. Statements that that nobody would really be be upset about, but you could have have it so that she she is overly concerned about it, and then. That just opens up the door for silliness and uh, characterization in the same way. Whereas all the graffiti here is just general insults that you could write about any any person practically. And you probably wouldn't want that being said about you. Hmm. And so there was... It's really an example of where they could have thought more about it. And there's a lot of points here. Like, they could have thought more about a lot of these things. Like, midget haters suck. Just kind of a simplistic thing. So you could have also just had Nazi sucks on the, the things. Uh, you could have gone with one of them being a picture of Moxie with like a huge nose, uh, just a character caricature of her. Uh, mm. You could say Moxie's going bald. Uh, Ma Moxie's hat is stupid. <laughs> just silly things like that. And then, then the game would be much friendlier. Although, I don't know, when you get to the core of the game and you're just killing these people over and over again, do you ever, could you ever get this as a Team Plus game? Hmm, maybe. Maybe, maybe you couldn't have when this came out, but maybe in 2017, the impact of murdering people has been so dulled in video games that they don't care. I mean, even when you're playing a Lego game, you you punch and effectively disassemble and murder Lego menu figures all like the time. As long as it doesn't look too realistic, this blood would certainly have had to have been cleaned up. So let's turn this in. Thanks, you're a real peach, is all it says. That's the only line of dialogue they even bothered to write. Hmm. You could have written Moxie is an A cup. <laughs> that would have been insulting. Hmm. Of course, if I was going to try to make this game more teen friendly, I think I'd probably not give her huge breasts and, and show her underwear on the side. <laughs> Just as a general rule. I don't think that works out well with the sensor boards. Let's see. Very fast recharge rate compared 
to a very high f shield. I like the idea of a very fast recharge rate, but I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Wouldn't mind a MR MIRV. Now this Defender class mod is 39 shield capacity, 3 resilience, 2 diva skills, 2 inner glow skills versus 36 shield capacity with 3 resilience, 3 diva skills, 4 inner glow skills, and 30% team ignite resistance. Hmm. Nope, I don't think I can keep that one. Give it this, give it that. This terrible scatter gun is probably going away. Swift Anaconda. Let's see, the liquid wraith. So that, that. It's Primal Revolver versus Swift Anaconda. See, the thing here is this does so much faster. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Get rid of that. Hmm. Get rid of that one, that one, that one, that one, that, 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 and that. Now my shotgun here is a hundred and two times seven times one point eight, which gets rid of those. And now I have one that is somewhere around three hundred and forty times one point six. This would be a little bit faster for a little bit less damage so I'm gonna sell this hmm. and what's what's going on here seems like I shouldn't have four things Okay, I guess I do have four things. Where are we now? Bugged is our next you quest. And if I do the timing well enough, there's a decent chance that I could finish all the quests in this DLC, and then there's only the last piece of DLC to, to go. Where is that vehicle? It's right over here. A little bit of a hitch again on the visuals. Hmm. So if I'm seeing hitching on the visuals, then... I suppose that that means that I'm going below the frame rates. I because if I was going above the frame rates, then I would be seeing a different effect that I occasionally see but never gets recorded is the secret final boss so yeah, you can hear there's all kinds of things rumblings going on I guess would be the right term 
For all the skeletons you see around here, there should be giant creatures that we're fighting more often, but we don't. Still can't go through these even though it feels like you could. And they all they needed to do is uh, All they really needed to do was have a post in between those sections so that it's a hundred percent clear you can't go or just a bar at the bottom so that it's obvious. It's bad design. And okay everything else seems to have disappeared. Fine by me. Am I going the right direction? Yes, I am. We walk through this bridge, this light bridge, or we run through the light bridge to Road's End. And then I think, do we immediately get a vehicle as soon as we get on the other side of this? Not quite immediately, but close. We, you had to come out over on foot because they wanted to attack you with an Omega troop. bullets we are here the they want me to run through the skag valley area which is down this way skag riders I'm pretty sure so I'll just take the shortcut could have probably just taken a monster vehicle with me too. In fact, I might be able to pick up a car over here. Yes, I can, but it doesn't help any because when I get it over here, we're back to that. We'll try a shotgun. We haven't used that in a while. Haven't used this in a while, too. So we'll just rush through this. So we have a flame infused Skag Rider chasing us. So I've got to kill the guy on top of the skag because I wasn't going to kill the skag in time. Quite a challenge going on here. Let's see, can we get everybody? guy keeps happening. Second wave. Gotta knock his head off. More, more things than I really wanted. Reheal ourselves. This is really not a path you want to go down twice. 
But I think the game may very intentionally have done that. Hmm. Do I have nothing but bullets sitting around now? Yep. Time to move on. Just double check I'm going the right way. Apparently not. Apparently I need to come up this direction. To a <gasps> sneaky little section. Get some money, get some more things. Things are good. We need more things. Find the lever to reactivate the gondola. Oh, we're going through the gondola. Interesting. So where is the gondola? It is on the other side, so the game has now forced me to run back this direction. So remember that part where I said this is not an area you want to run through twice? It's also not an area you don't want you want to run through three times. <laughs> but okay. And again, it just doesn't feel intense. I feel like maybe this just comes right down to maybe a 60 frames per second issue. Like, I've never before in my life ever felt that way, but it does. It's either because Borderlands 2 is a lot smoother and faster as far as you're running and you're gunning and how many enemies are shooting at you and how much danger you are in or it's because this Borderlands 1 this game on a PC is running at something like a lock at 30 frames per second and that feels just inherently slower to me which that would be a new realization for me I'm moderately new to playing uh, I'm moderately new to playing video games on PC in the in the sense that I've been doing it for about two years and maybe I haven't been specifically focusing on shooters for very much of that time this so that might be the issue is that shooters in particular require you to do this. I thought these gondolas took you to a new area completely. I don't think they just lifted you up and carried you to a different section. This is interesting. It's an interesting experiment, although boring and long. And it's not going to go back down. Okay. This caustic thumper I have is not what I want to look at though. The double anarchy has way more accuracy and more bullets. I think I'm going to take this 
and then this war cobra compared to what I was using it's not as good hmm. I'm at 40,000. Sure sounds like somebody is doing something over there. Sell so this, 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 that, that. 152 times 11. Gonna get rid of this caustic thumper. And get rid of the double anarchy. Yeah, it is going back and forth. Interesting. So somewhere around this area, I'm supposed to place a bug. A probably over that direction. So this is a kind of like Old Haven, New Haven location. Let's not use these because these are shock troopers. How's the shotgun play? Not very well. I would prefer the repeater. And see, I don't need any of these cores anymore. So, picking up all this stuff is... Be careful not to die. Where is it? So I've got a blind fire at this guy and hope he dies. And I didn't have time. Well, that sucks. How much did I lose for that? 29. 200. And no, no, that can't be right. I must be off by a factor of 10, otherwise that took almost all my money. No, uh, yeah, I am off, but it still took a, a major amount of money for dying. You're not going to get to the maximum amount if you are even a moderately bad player. That being said, you'd, you'd have to be pretty bad, considering how I'm I'm not really that good of a first-person shooter player, and I'm, I'm doing perfectly fine here. There was a few points, though, that the game felt like it could have been better balanced, or maybe have the idea of a difficulty level. Let me just do a shock grenade at me. But mm, I'd say 99.2% of the time there's been zero struggle. And see if I had just turned in the quest to get the cores, I don't think I'd be picking up cores anymore. But I was picking up brains, certainly, uh, after I'd done all the brains quest. So, I could, could be that you just always get cores. See, these shields feel like they would be doing, they are doing a little bit. I 
Come on. This guy's aim is terrible, but so is mine. Here. I don't know if that's actually true, though. I think probably did break a bit of a sweat sweat killing that guy. Let's see, trying to let the bullets slowly focus towards the head. I'm gonna have so much, so much junk. So much junk to sell when I'm done with this area. And see, here's one of these lights that looks like it should be a safe spot, and it isn't. And it also isn't really a light, because the game doesn't really need lights. Hmm. Now what I do need, though, is some bullets. Let's try this gun. This would do 200 damage. Gonna have to get a little bit closer if I'm gonna use the revolver though. Hmm. But, you know... A siren with a revolver getting closer is not a big issue. I can just do this. No, I just don't feel like this is a fast enough gun for me. Hmm. Who's shooting at me? See, just too slow. Hmm. Heal back up to the full heal. Now, I don't know what you do if you play as a different character that doesn't have some kind of ability like that. Let's see. So what I want to do is switch out to some of these other things. I don't think I've used this. I don't think I've used this. And... I want to use this glorious havoc. So, we got a sniper, let's see how this works for a little bit. I'm, a, I'm bored of the guns I've been using. That's kind of a sad statement to say if I'm bored with the guns because bug in place. That might be the exact same sound file that we found a echo recorder at the very very beginning of the game that made a sound like that. Alright. So fast. What's the fastest way down? Jump? Where do they want me to turn in this quest, by the way? T-Bone Junction? Which means we're not going to go back to T-Bone Junction. That's a waste of time. We're going to go forward and finish the game. We should have enough time to do that. Do shops have new inventory? Hmm. 
just looking at everything as if they're all valid options. They really aren't. Buy more repeater ammo just in case. Buy more revolver ammo. There we go. So, let's see. We can sell that. 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 750. These shields are getting close to what I have now. Just start selling all of these rifles. I, in general, know. Did I just sell one of my guns? One, two, three, four. No. Gotta be careful though. In general, I know what I'm doing, I think. This revolver, not as useful as I would like. So we have 116 times 15 is this de Desert Cobra. That's my rifle. So anything that was would beat that, 160 times 15, would be kind of amazing. So that, that, that one, nope, nope, and nope. And then we have this blast hammer that's 7 times 102 times 1.8, which beats this by a lot. Probably, I think it does at least. Didn't really do the math. And one of these is redundant. Is it an SMG? Maybe it isn't. Are there really seven weapons? Or eight weapons? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute. Do I have an assault rifle? 152 times 11 versus 160 times 15. Mm. So this glorious havoc is gone for the Desert Cobra. Right. Eight weapons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what's the one weapon that doesn't have a proficiency then? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pistols must include both revolvers and repeaters. I guess that's the case. And that certainly would explain why your pistol efficiency could be really high. Hmm. Now, would I seriously die if I just jumped down? I, I don't think so, but let's pretend. Let's play friendly with the game. Hmm. This feels like something you would see in Resident Evil 4. There's a specific section. It's a shame that game just doesn't run well on my PC. There's something about the engines of some games that they just don't work. They, they hitch up and lock. A lot more than the little lagginess we've seen here. You can also see this texture looks awful. And I don't think anything's going to make it look better. I, I, I don't know if it ever looks better or if it's just going to stay this way because it's in motion. And because textures in motion seem to have this thing. Where they don't get any better looking. I could certainly make this jump. <laughs> All right. Moving on.
we were right at the point where we were going to beat General Knox. And we're getting back to that point. Let's see. I suppose I could have run the other direction and gone through the Skag alley again, but I don't want to do that. Much easier to work our way this direction. Is this the entrance? I think it is. It's an advertisement for the uh, Underdome vaults, which I've had zero thoughts about going and stashing any more guns there. Like, I've even dropped and thrown away er Aridin weapons, and it seems like that's only increase the number of Aridin weapons I've picked up. Which still doesn't really make any sense because clearly in the main game they have it hard-coded so you don't get any of those weapons until you run into the boss who has one. So it's still going to be very late into gameplay that you are allowed. Hmm. Suppose I could take a couple of these guys out? Let's see. So one lightning shot. Let's see. A few lightning shots with the devastator. Yeah, if you're going for criticals, if you're going for headshots. I don't think my accuracy is high enough for this, though. Like, I, I really think my proficiency is too low here. Certainly, certainly a useful gun, though. Let's try the next one. Um, nope, not that one. We've already know about that one. This one's more of a... You can... Not much of a spray and play because you have to pump the trigger. So not exactly the kind of assault rifle I'd like. Let's try this one. I like that. I like the 58 bullets of in the chamber. Hmm. Let's just save ourselves some time though. So two reloads to destroy a devastator. That's that's a good ratio. Hmm. Of course, I'm picking up all this junk again, which I'm gonna just be full of by the time I get to the next section. So, fast run, enable. Nice shooting right there because I had one guy standing right behind the other guy 
So I could aim for the head of one, and if I missed, or if my bullets just didn't hit them, they could move to the next, uh, the, they could hit the guy behind them. Hmm. I'm gonna run out of bullets if I'm not careful though. Fast run, these two guys, and that guy, and that guy, I'll take this. We'd already killed this guy once, but we'll do it again. And we are full. Let's do just a really quick job here of dropping some inexpensive things. enough. That should be enough to move forward. Kill that guy that time. And three clips to kill him, kill that guy. And we're full again. Alright, back to this. So I don't even know where that flying thing is. Are there any shields here that might be worth buying? Nope. And over here... What is this compared to what I have equipped? Explosive MRV grenades explode. They throw out several more grenades. I would like that more than explosive ring, but I'm not going to pay for it. Um, SMG ammo. Where is the button to get it all? Just fill. And no storage deck upgrades. Alright, time to sell things. We are at 440,000. 440, and as we sell things, it would be nice if we got up to 500,000. It's not un it's not guaranteed that it's gonna happen. All right. We know that one's one we wanna keep. We know that one's we one we wanna keep. This incendiary law is one sixty three times one point nine times six versus this, which is gets rid of that, that, that. That one, that one, yeah. Hmm. Menu hero once again. 
maybe if we're lucky this will be the second to last time we ever have to do this. Second or third to last time, possibly. That wasn't too much work. And we've got about 10 min minutes now, so let's rush. This is where we, s we saved two hours ago, uh, right here, and I saved and exited the game. And it would be very, very ironic if the game locked up or reset right here, but that would also be rather annoying. I suppose we want to take our time and enjoy the the experience so let's not just completely rush through here but we kind of know the drill it's gonna be either ominously empty or we're gonna start fighting a bunch of Atlas people which way does the map point oh I guess I do have to walk under here And there's just an elevator that's going to take me up for a big boss fight. And over here is the second elevator that'll take me to a different boss fight. General Steel inside of a Devastator armor looks cool a lot of animation going on here though he's pointing all these guns at himself I don't know why a missile well that's just inappropriate timing I got tired of waiting it was open to be dead before out here. I can't stand this place. Make <laughs> you a deal. If you best me in this fight, which seems likely, maybe you could just blow the planet up entirely. Kill all of them. That's the fairest thing to do. Knox doesn't like Mondays. So it's kind of hard to, to hate General Knox, though. Like, because uh, he doesn't really have a, a real problem with me is doing his own he's just doing his job you can see I'm got him down to half his health and he's he's just got these well he's brought in some other dev devastators I don't know I don't know why he went from running to to die uh, to to then having these guys defend them but whatever maybe they're automatic and he can't stop them you can see here's a here's a lance combat medic that's healing people where did General Knox go? Let's go find General Knox. This area is blocked off, shielded off. There he is. Let's see, he got a little bit of his health back, but as long as my accuracy is moderately there, like he just did a, a significant amount of damage to my shield. So he's trying to take out my shield. Sadly though, since I've just hit this point of near immortality, uh, there's nothing here you can do. And see, like, okay, he almost did some damage to me there that would have mattered. But then I can just phase walk. 
There's really nothing here. This is just a dome arena type place. More of an arena than a dome. Uh, I was thinking it's like the underdome arenas. Uh, he's getting his health back. I'm about to die if I'm not careful. So I l let that happen so I can do this for a second win. So I can do this and this. Hmm. We have a baddest devastator here. Take them on. Throw a grenade or two. Picking up things. Knocks us back to his full health. Let's switch to another gun. That one's not working well at all. Let's say, hey, we wanted to do this. Too slow. Let's try this. Look at how much damage I take off when I do this. Not enough, not compared to the SMG. Now, I might run out of bullets. So, let's not screw around anymore. I, I really only have a couple. One more reloads and I'm gonna have to change to a different gun. I've got 17 more bullets on the SMG. No ammo. no ammo. Time for a new gun. And every time I get the critical headshot, if it, it dazes him. Let's go and win, because I don't want to have to switch to, say, a rocket launcher or something that would... And see, every time he gets dazed, he's, he's, he's stun-locked, so nothing he can do can even hurt me. As long as I get at least a few critical shots, which I managed to miss. So he's gone. Are we back to enough bullets for the SMG? Not really. So we'll just use this. Or we'll come over here with air then weapon. And what is our request? It's to go this way. And what are we gonna do? Enter the code and expose the munitions and blow up the armory. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be doing. And are we going to get betrayed by Athena? It would seem realistic. I mean, that's what happened in before. This is weird. It's like this was going to be some kind of code combination. Uh, what's the code? <laughs> All right, let's see what the code is. Um, the code is blue, yellow, cyan, orange. Kind of nice that this never became part of darn it. So that's blue. That's kind of a purplish dark blue. Thank you. Hmm. With Knox out of the way, I don't need to hide my signal anymore. Find the control room overlooking the warehouse floor. Hmm. The computer interface for the detonator should be there. A 
Athena out. And so we've got all of this. Just all kinds of money, all kinds of bullets behind these shields. Of Before course. Before you place the detonator, you need to expose the munitions to ensure their destruction. The control should be nearby. Athena out. But what you see here is these are just bullets and money, not actual guns. So. As soon as you place the detonator, the countdown will begin. I suggest you steal as much weaponry as you can carry before the timer reaches zero. Consider this your payment for all of the help. Hmm. Athena out. So, before we do this, let's look at our inventory. Is there any gun or anything? We have Nox's gold, which... Alright, and we have a couple of high value things. We can drop this. We can drop that. But I think I'll keep the others. Loot loss and start the countdown, still loot, boom. Let's see if I die it's just gonna cost me a respawn. So here we go. Now if you are trying to just get as much looted areas and things here. The, the trick is to open and go. So this, this, and this, and this. I don't think I want to go over there. So. And how much time do we have? We have two minutes and 18 seconds. And a pathway this way. And see, there's more things that direction. No guarantee. T minus two minutes. Let's see, here, here, here. 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 So I'm full. I am full. Let's not even bother then. We've got plenty of time like looking and sorting through things. Uh, doesn't even matter. What we're trying to do I suppose is open these for experience now. Now if there was four players playing with all of this, then yeah, that would make some more sense. But that's just not how it goes. Let's see if we can find something useless to get rid of. Hmm. One minute until you are a red smear on the sand. Hurry. So this is the Oh, oh, I definitely want that. So we're shopping here. Hmm. Like, yeah, and there, there's a few more that way too. But we only have 30 seconds left. We're down to 30 seconds. And should we leave? Let's leave. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Hmm. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Am I far enough away?
don't think I was far enough away, honestly. And so Athena doesn't betray you, which is interesting because I don't think she really, unless I'm totally forgetting something, I don't think she plays any role in this story in Borderlands 2. And I said really earlier on that these, uh, these DLC elements are not particularly canonical, but this one in particular seems pretty canonical. I'd say just the zombie island of Dr. Ned is possibly it. Getting some interesting music here. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it or not, because YouTube might force me to edit it out. Um, interesting drawings and sketches of Mr. Shank there. Uh, people really proud of what they did in this. I think overall it's a very good DLC. It's a lot better than Mad Moxie's Underdome, which which was just awful. It, it, do, it still suffers from having you drive through the roads a little too often and there's also a lot of areas that either they have some kind of quest in them for the second playthrough and they don't have those for the first playthrough or those areas that were just designed and then they never just put anything in them besides maybe the occasional loot chest which that's not that helpful. If you are trying to get the max level of loot boxes open, uh, running through the Secret Army, uh, uh, the entire DLC just to get that last few collections of weapons is still not very good, but that's all right. It's better than nothing, and I don't know what the game can really give you. This, this is a game that's built around the concept of getting guns. So, uh, I don't know what you, what else you would do. Let's see. The Secret Armory of General Knox, and then it has the number 61 in it. Hmm. And I get teleported right back here. Which... Oh, by the way, I could run back through the whole thing, I think, now. This section's open. So we'll see what, what the deal is. I could use money a lot more than I could use weapons. I came through there, that's that. So, I know there's a secret boss and there's some quests that we need to turn in. And I know we've been going an hour, so I think all of those things are going to combine nicely to prove no, I guess you are stuck, so maybe you never can get those money and bullet sections. Hmm. So, because I've respawned after I died, and I think that was a free respawn, if I was to guess. Let's see. Yeah, I'm almost up to 50,000. And if I hadn't bought bought the upgrades to the banks in the, the Underdome, I would probably be to 999,000. Hmm. Now there's one more DLC part and I don't think I'm gonna hit that. Uh, play that enough. So we, we gonna have to play some menu hero at the next recording just to see all the guns we got. That's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, 
There's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.